This video is on two brand new music streamers from Cambridge Audio. Now, Cambridge Audio has been based in the UK for decades, and they've always tried to provide very high value audio components. Now, from the time some grad students at Cambridge University built their first integrated amp in 1969, all the way to today, they've received numerous awards for their sound quality. Cambridge designs all of their gear in the UK and has it made in Asia at a factory that they own, which is similar to other high performance audio companies. But they do something every Friday at their UK facility, which I feel really sets them apart. Now, most of us got into the fun of improving our systems because we love listening to live music. Now, the ultimate goal of a music lover is for your system to sound like your favorite band is in your living room. Yet, many audio engineers design their gear in a vacuum, relying on specs and measurements. Cambridge Audio hosts a live band every Friday afternoon, and the performers run the gamut from hard rock all the way to classical. Now, when you're exposed to live music every single week, you will certainly learn to know when a component sounds like real music. This has led Cambridge Audio engineers to focus on two things, the most simple signal path and using both measurements and listening tests to determine if a component used in the path is the right choice. They spend hundreds of hours comparing individual parts to develop the final design. And the proof is certainly in how their units sound and how highly regarded they are in the audio community. The CXN model from Cambridge Audio is now in its second V2 version, and ever since it first came out, it has been the product to beat for its price. The CXN V2 is a world-class music streamer with dual Wolfson DACs, balanced audio outs, and one of the easiest and most robust streaming apps on the market. It matches up with the CX series of components, but we even see them going in far more expensive systems as it sounds so good for the money. Cambridge has had their AX series out for a long time, but there's never been a more cost-effective matching streamer that fits into the AX price. Well, enter the AXN10 and the MXN10 streamers. We were lucky enough to get the first two pieces to arrive in the US and put them through some testing. First, I want to go over exactly what these units can do. Unless you've had your head in the sand, you probably know music streaming is now the most popular way for people to enjoy music. When it first came out, the streaming services didn't sound very good, but as time passed and broadband speeds have improved, some streaming services sound far better than a CD. The AXN10 and MXN10 are actually identical in performance, with the AX version simply physically matching the size of the other AX components from Cambridge Audio. I feel like most people will go with the MX version as it takes up a lot less space and it actually sounds the same. But feature wise, they have just about everything you would want in a modern music streamer. Spotify Connect, Tidal, Cobuzz, Deezer, Amazon Music are all built in. You also get great internet radio experience and you can access their Stream Magic app. If that doesn't cover everything for you, they also have AirPlay 2, Chromecast, Bluetooth on board. Finally, local audio files you might have on your network are available in the app, or you can plug in a USB drive or USB stick. The USB part is actually pretty cool. If you have a friend come over, they can actually just plug in and you can experience their high-res music with them. And the icing on the cake is that these are all Rune ready. Now also, both units can be set up either hardwired or set up wirelessly and have two separate antennas, which resulted in a great wireless experience when we did our testing. Now, if all that sounds like a whole lot of tech and might be more challenging than just connecting up a CD player, have no fear. When you purchase from Audio Advice, you get our team of tech experts to help you with any setup issues that you might have. We found setup to be very simple, but if it's your first time setting up a music streamer, it is nice to know someone has your back. Another neat feature they both have is Toslink and Coax Digital Outs. Should you get really into audio and wind up with an integrated amp or separate DAC that might have better components in it than the AX or MX, you can simply just connect up to a digital out and still use as the front end of your streaming system. And in classic Cambridge Audio fashion, the labels for all connections on the back panel are printed both right side up and upside down so you can read it even when you lean over the back. The DACs inside the AX and MX are pretty high-end, coming from ESS Technologies. They use ES9033Q DAC chips, which fit in the ESS Sabre two-channel audiophile DACs lineup. They can do up to 768kHz, 32-bit PCM, and DSD512. Now, I do have to say, for the cost of these units, you're not getting a DAC that has the raw parts cost of a DAC alone of some $50-plus, like those very expensive DACs, 
but with careful component selection and circuit design, Cambridge Audio has squeezed a whole lot of performance out of these mid-level ESS DACs. While the CX NV2 has a beautiful front panel display and quite a bit of functionality from the front, the AX and MX are actually very basic to keep the costs only going into the sound. However, Cambridge Audio added a pretty clever feature here. You'll notice four small buttons on the front panel. Now through their app, you can assign these to playlists or internet radio stations, which is pretty dang cool. I've talked a lot about the Cambridge Audio Stream Magic app, and it's worth noting just how great this app actually is. It has been constantly evolving over the last 10 years. Cambridge Audio will actually add popular music streaming services and has added a quite few recently. They have an entire team keeping this app up to date and it's actually really fun to use. I do think it's actually one of the best one out there that has multiple streaming services and it's almost to the level of Sonos, which is really saying something. We decided to first listen to the MXN10 by itself and then compare it to the CXN V2. Now wireless setup took less than two minutes on our iPhone as it uses AirPlay to get right on your network. After playing a few of our reference tracks, we normally use in testing, it was very clear. Cambridge Audio has done it again with a streamer that will set a new standard for the price, especially with the smaller MX version. It is extremely musical and gave us a great presentation of the music. When we compared it to the CXN V2, it became obvious that these were from the same heritage as they have the same sound, but you get a little bit more with the CXN V2. Where we heard improvements in comparing were in the level of detail you hear in the actual music, the width and the depth of the soundstage, and improved rhythm and pacing. The CXN V2 slightly edged it out on deep bass definition as well. Now, we should point out we were doing these comparisons on a system that costs far more than what you would put the MXN10 or even the CXN V2 in as it was north of $40,000, but we really wanted to hear the differences for ourselves. What really stood out was how the MXN10 just did nothing wrong that didn't make us want to try anything else. As an entry-level streamer that will get you into the fun world of music streaming, Cambridge Audio has hit a home run here. Our advice is you can't go wrong with the MXN10. I don't see a reason to get the more expensive AXN10 unless you want a full width component. The MXN10 is a fantastic way to discover streaming music. This analysis also reminded me of how good the CXN V2 is and why it is so popular. If you have a higher resolution system, you will certainly appreciate its detailed sound and not to mention its great display too. All right, that concludes our overview of these two new pieces from Cambridge Audio. Hopefully this has given you a good insight into what these streamers offer and if they'd be a good fit for you and your system. Now if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and be sure to turn on those post notifications as well so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Now thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.